welcome to Guru Gedara. And today also we have Miss Niranji with us. We'll go and ask her how she is today. Hello, Miss Suchitra. Yes, I'm happy. All right. Even the other day you told me that you were happy. So what about today then? Today also I'm happy. You know about me, right? All right. So today also she is happy. How about you children? You are happy as well. Right. So what did she tell me? This is what she told me. Look at the board. She told me, I am happy. She said, I am happy. I am happy are her own words, her exact words. So what are we going to learn today? Yes, you know that already. We have discussed this before as well in the previous lesson. Yes, you are right. We are talking about, Ms. Niranji, you are talking about? We are talking about indirect speech. Indirect speech, direct speech and reported speech. Reported speech is indirect speech, right? So I am happy is there on the board. What are we going to do with this? This is what she feels today, right? This is reported speech or indirect speech is what we are going to teach you today as well. I am happy. Look at this. This is how you write the quotation. I am happy are her own words, her exact words. You know this already. That is direct speech. Then you have the indirect speech. This is a revision, remember. Hope you remember the direct and direct. All right. How will we say that in indirect speech, Miss Niranji? She said that she was happy. I am happy has become she was happy. Now you know the changes of the indirect speech when you turn a direct speech into reported. When you change a direct speech into indirect speech, you know the changes. You have the basic knowledge. Right, let's go. With that knowledge, we'll look at the sentences again. This is to brush up your memory. All right. Shall direct I read them? These are the direct speech sentences. Yes, Miss, yes, Miss Niranji, you are going to read that for us. Okay. My mother said, I do not like meat. Lahiru said, my leg is painful. The friend said, we can go on the trip during the vacation. Sita said, I enjoyed the lesson. All right, children, observe the direct speech sentences once again. How you can write direct speech sentences using that particular person's own words. My mother said, what did she say, Miss Niranji? She said, I do not like meat. So I do not like meat are your mother's exact words. My mother said, kama, open inverted kamas, I do not like meat. And there's a full stop. Observe these things very carefully, children. Punctuations are very important in your language. Right. This is the way you write it. Once again, my mother said, kama, open inverted kamas, I do not like meat. Full stop and then close inverted kamas. In the same way, Lahiru said, kama, open inverted kamas, my leg is painful full stop and then close. Ms. Niranji, this is a mistake our children always do, right? Even the adults, sometimes, okay? They put the full stop. What do they have to do? They have to keep the full stop and then close the quotation. Then close the uh, indirect speech sentence. But instead of that, they uh, close the sentence and then keep the full stop, which is very wrong, children. So that is why I want you to Observe the way we write a direct speech sentence. Though this is revisioning, I am emphasizing on the fact that you have to write your direct speech sentences this way. Lahiru said, after that you have to put a comma, open inverted, my leg is painful, full stop and then close inverted commas. The friend said, comma, open inverted, we can go on the trip during the vacation, there is a full stop and then close the Quotation. Close the sentence. Sita said, Kama, open inverted, I enjoy the lesson, full stop, and then close inverted commas. Likewise, we have indirect speech sentences also. Will you be able to read this for our children, Miss Niranshi? Of course, I would read them. My brother said that he did not like vegetables. Lahiru said that he was sad. My friend said that. They wanted to buy fruits. 
Sita said that she was enjoying the lesson. All right, children, we have discussed this before, but showing you again because you have to emphasize on these changes. What are the changes in indirect speech? You can observe, my brother said, and the use of the word that is there. My brother said that he did not like vegetables. In that sentence, do you see any inverted commas there, children? No, they have been omitted. The inverted commas have been taken away. So you do not have any problem with the punctuation marks when it comes to indirect speech. You just simply put a full stop at the end of the sentence. Right. Then again, Lahiru said that he was sad. Observe the usage of the word that and the end of the sentence you have a full stop. In the same way, the friends said that they wanted to buy fruits. Full stop. The usage of that. No inverted commas. Sita said that she was enjoying the lesson. Full stop. No inverted commas. Then also you have to look at the changes of the pronouns and also the changes of the tenses when it comes to changing of direct speech sentences into indirect. All right, with that knowledge, with that revisioning, we go to this. A back shift in the tenses. What is a back shift, Ms. Niranji? Back shift is the change in the tense, the change in the tense. The change in the tense, that is very right. Now, Ms. Niranji is going to tell you how tenses are changed when you turn direct into indirect direct into reported. In direct speech, if we have simple present, we have to change it into simple past. Present continuous becomes past continuous. Simple past becomes past perfect in indirect speech. Present perfect becomes past perfect and past perfect remains as it is. We do not change it. That is very right. Thank you. Once again, children, what happens? What is a backshift? A change in the tenses. A change. That is a simple word. Backshift, the word is there in your textbook. But here, it simply means a change in the tenses. Tenses, when you change a sentence from direct to indirect, these are the backshifts. These are the changes that happen, that occur in the tenses. Simple present tense becomes simple past tense. Remember, Present continuous tense becomes past continuous tense and simple past tense becomes past perfect. What happens to present perfect tense? That becomes past perfect once again. And the last one, which is in red. Why have I put that in red? To show you that there is no change. Past perfect remains as it is. The tense does not change. All right, with that knowledge now, we are looking at the tenses, the change of the tenses one by one. Simple present into simple past. How do we do this? Ms. Niranji, what is the direct sentence? Sanduni said, I want a kilo of carrots. What did Sanduni say, children? Sanduni said, I want a kilo of carrots. I want a kilo of carrots are Sanduni's exact words, direct words. Then, when you change that into indirect, observe very carefully. Sanduni said that, Ms. Niranji? Sanduni said that she wanted a kilo of carrots. All right. Sanduni said that, the usage of that, you have to observe those changes as well. We are focusing on the tensors here. The changes of the tensors here in this particular session. Sanduni said that she wanted a kilo of carrots. Want in the first sentence, want the verb in the first sentence, in the direct sentence is changed into wanted in the next indirect speech sentence. Observe that. Observe that very clearly. Simple present tense want has become wanted and wanted is a simple past tense verb. All right, children. Remember these very carefully because we need to use these in our spoken and written language as well. Look at present continuous tense. What happens to that? It becomes past continuous. All right. Yes, Ms. Niranji. Sadhuni said, I am going to school. What did she say? 
I am going to school. I am going to school. Am going is, you know, ing form is there, am is there, present continuous. Am going is present continuous. Now, when you look at the next sentence, which is in indirect speech, how do you say that? Sadhuni said that she was going to school. All right. So, you can observe the change in the tense there. Present continuous am going has changed into past continuous. What is past continuous? Was going. Am going has become was going when you change the direct into indirect. Observe this very carefully. Look at the board and read it. All right. What happens to simple past tense? It becomes past perfect. It becomes past perfect tense. Sanduni said, I bought a kilo of carrots. What did Sanduni say, children? I bought a kilo of carrots. Who bought it? Sanduni. Sanduni bought. So that's why she is saying, I bought a kilo of carrots. Right? And then look at the next sentence. Sanduni said that she had bought a kilo of carrots. There you see, bought in the first sentence is simple past tense. Bought is simple past tense. When you change that into indirect, Sanduni said that she had bought. Had bought is past perfect. How do you form this tense? Had with past participle. Had gone, had done, right? That is past perfect. So remember, when you change direct to indirect, when you have a tense, a verb in simple past tense, that becomes past perfect. Observe it. Read these sentences. Then, children, remember what happens when you change present perfect tense into past uh, perfect. That's right. Present perfect into past perfect. Sanduni said, I have finished my homework. All right. So, you see, have finished is present perfect verb. When you change that to indirect, what happens? Sadhuni said that she had finished her homework. All right, children. So, have finished in the first sentence is what? Present perfect tense. When you tell that, when you say that in indirect speech, it has to change into past perfect. Have finished becomes had, had finished. finished. That is right. Observe the sentences once again because you need these in your spoken, I'm telling you once again, in your spoken and your written language. All right, children? Is this too much to remember? No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Children, there's one more. Look at this now. Hope you're with us. All right, look at this as well. Past perfect. What happens to past perfect? It does not change. It remains as it is. Yes, nothing happens. This is easy. All right. So come on, children. Sadhuni said, I had swept the classroom before 7.30 a.m. Uh-huh. Who swept the classroom? I had said swept the classroom before 7.30 a.m. Sandhuni has swept the classroom. Sandhuni has swept. Sandhuni actually had swept. That is in past perfect tense. All right. Had, had swept is in past perfect tense. Then what happens in the indirect form? Sanduni said that she had swept the classroom before 7.30 a.m. All right, children, the change of tenses we are talking about. Along with the other changes, when you put a direct sentence into indirect, along with the other changes, you have to observe the tense here, particularly in this session. So had swept past perfect has not changed. You can see that had swept is remained there, had swept as it is, all right? So, Sanduni said that she had swept the classroom before 7.30. All right, children, you have some sort of a knowledge now regarding tenses. With that knowledge, what are we going to do next, Ms. Niranji? Shall we do an activity? All right, let's not call it an activity. We'll call that a small task for you. All right, children, are you with us? All right, this is not going to be hard. Come with us. Let's do. All right. Turn the following into indirect speech, paying attention to the tense, to the tense. Okay. We are looking at other changes as well. We know that there are changes, but 
we are focusing on the tense now. All right, miss, what is there? Amra said, I am playing in the garden. Who is playing in the garden? Amra. Amra, that is why she is saying, I am playing in the garden. Not that I am playing, Miss Suchitra is not playing, Miss Niranji is not playing. Who is playing? Amra. Amra is playing. Her own words, her exact words are, I am playing in the garden. Observe the tense there. Do it please. What is the tense there children? Present continuous. What happens to present continuous? It becomes past continuous. That is right. This is the answer. Amra said that she was playing in the garden. Aha. Uh -huh. And playing present continuous has become past continuous now. And playing present continuous was playing is past continuous. The second one. Dasun said. Dasun said my father is a careful driver. What did Dasun say? My father is a careful driver. Right. Whose father is a careful driver? Dasun's father. That is right. Dasun's father. That's why he is saying, my father is a careful driver. All right. Is. The verb is. Look at the tense. What is it? Simple present. How do you change that children? Simple present into? Simple past. Simple past. This is the way. Dasun said that his father was a careful driver. Dasun said that his father was a careful driver. Is becomes was. The past tense of is is was. All right. His father is singular, remember. All right. Let's go to the next one now. Hope our children are catching it up. Kusum said, my brother has gone to the library. All right. What did Kusum say? My brother has gone to the library. Whose brother? Kusum's brother. Not our brother, right? Well, yes, All not right. our brother. All right. All right. So, you can see has gone there. Has gone is in which tense? It is in present perfect. Present perfect. What happens here? It should be past perfect. That is right. Present perfect into past perfect. Remember this. Kusum said that her brother had gone to the library. All right. So, has gone present perfect had gone, we have given that in past perfect tense. In the same way, let's look at the fourth one as well. This is an interesting task, children. Manil said, my friends had sung beautiful songs. All right, you observe the tense there as well, children. While doing observe the tense, I'm telling you. Had sung is in past perfect tense. What happens there? Does it change? It does not change. It's very easy. That's what I told you. Right. What is the answer then? What is the answer then? Manil said that her friends had sung beautiful songs. You can see there is no change in the tense. Easy task. Manil said my friends had sung beautiful songs. Again into indirect. Manil said that her friends had sung beautiful songs. That's right. Remains unchanged. The fifth one, the teacher said, our students obtained good marks. Mm -hmm. Obtained is in? Simple past. Simple past tense. Then what happens in that? It has to be past perfect. That has to be past perfect when you change into indirect. What is the answer children? The teachers said that their students had obtained Good marks. All right. Obtain simple past becomes had obtained past perfect. This is all what you have to remember. All right, children. There is one more thing that I want to teach you today. With the change of tenses, remember this as well. Reporting verb. We have not discussed this before. The reporting verb. That is there on the screen. You can have a look at it now. Reporting verb. Miss Niranji, can you read this? Amra said, I am helping. Amra said, I am playing in the garden. So, said is the reporting verb. All right. Said is the reporting verb. There we call the word said in that sentence as reporting verb. Even in the second one, Dasun said, my father is a careful driver. In that sentence, the reporting verb, we call it, we call it the reporting verb. What is it? 
said. The word said is the reporting verb. Why is it necessary? Now look at this. Amra says I am a good girl. We don't have the word said there, Ms. Niranji. Yes, it is given in simple present. Simple present, not past tense. Earlier sentence as you saw, said. But here you see says. That is a reporting verb. And here remember, when you have something like this, the reporting verb in present tense, the next part of the sentence does not change. It remains the same. Along with the other changes, you know, tense of the sentence remains the same. Amra says that she is a good girl. I am a good girl. Am is in present tense. She is a good girl remains as it is. Present tense. When you have the reporting verb says, it does not change. All right, All right, children. Now look at this as well. My mother told me, yes, do not go out in the dark. All right, my mother told me not to go out in the dark. This is the way you uh, change the direct into indirect. My mother told me not to go out in the dark. When you give an instruction, this is the way you have to use it. But instead of saying told me, right, you can also say my mother asked me not to go out in the dark. You can say my mother told me and it's better to say my mother asked me because it's an instruction advice given. All right, children, observe these changes. And try to take this into your mind little by little. All right. We are joining with another lesson on reported speech. Okay. Right. Now let's change these. Uh, looking at the reporting verb. Meena says. She loves dogs. All right. Meena says she loves dogs. Has to be. Meena says that she loves dogs. Yes. You can see loves remains the same. And it doesn't change. The tense does not change. Lal says. He likes to study. All right. Lal says that he likes to study. You can see reporting verb has not changed. I mean, the reporting verb is says and then you have the tense which is not changed. Likes becomes likes and it doesn't change. My mother says I'm going to the market. My mother says that she is going to the market. I'm going present continuous. Is going is also present continuous. When you have the reporting verb says, the tense does not change. Arun's father says everybody has to face problems. What is the answer? Arun's father says that everybody has to face problems. All right, everybody has to face problems. All right, so there you can see Arun's father says the reporting verb is says, so it doesn't change. Right, let's turn these into indirect speech again. Take the books out, said the teacher to us. What is the answer? The teacher asked us to take the books out. That is right. That is an instruction. Our principal advised us study every day. Our principal advised us to study every day. That's right. The manager ordered his officers keep the documents ready. Instruction given. The manager ordered his officers to keep the documents ready. You can see inverted commas are taken off. The workers told their chief, give us a holiday. The workers asked their chief to give them a holiday. All right, you can say it in this way as well, children. So what did we learn today? We learned indirect speech. All right, we learned that there is a back shift, the change in the tenses, and also there is no back shift when the reporting verb is in present tense. Also, we learned the other changes. In the previous lessons also we have done this, a change in the pronoun, the omitting of the commas and the use of the word that. So with that we are going to wind up our lesson today Ms. Niranji. Hope you have got something out of this lesson. Remember these things, uh, use this in your language and join hands with Guru Gedara on Rupa Pahini. And if you want to watch them again and again, what do they have? They have YouTube channel, channel NIE. That's right. Their YouTube channel is channel NIE. Then stay safe, wear the mask and goodbye. Goodbye.